You ready? You can get fucked up playing You soccer. can. Listen. Like, those motherfuckers are going. I mean, it's obviously not even in the same ballpark as the NFL. Like, and you know what? Somebody, there was a there was an old old school guy. I'm not going to name any names. There's an old school cat that said that there are more concussions in soccer than there are in football. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to uppercut him right there. Just like, <laughs> just give him one. Just to be like, all right, there it goes. There's You're, one. There's, there's another, another concussion one. added to it. I'm like, yeah. no, there's fucking not. It's probably just like, because like. Yeah. All right. There's a few head to head like collisions. Yeah, like, oh, no, don't ever. Everyone's heading at the same time. Like, ah, nah. Yeah. Listen, there's no chance. There's at least one or two concussions every game in the NFL. Like, yeah. I'm not trying to hear that. There's shit. no chance. And if there's not concussions happening, there's, there's, you're, you're chipping away at a concussion. Yeah, that's with all these yeah. fucking hit, and, you know? Yeah, and, and, and like the ones that aren't even like in the data. Like, there's been a time where I've gotten a concussion. I don't say shit to anybody. Exactly. I'm trying to fucking play. I'm not exactly. trying to leave this game. Exactly. I get up like, oh shit, what the fuck just happened? Now, is that, is that something that, is that how how serious is that amongst amongst like locker room banter and the guys and the other guys like pudding brain? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, dude, my brain is slowly like becoming mush. Pudding brain. Yeah. It's funny to talk about like when like after the after like in the locker room. It's funny to talk about when you leave the locker room. It's like, all right, I got to seriously like think about what the fuck, right. <laughs> what am I doing? No, seriously, because you know, there's different. I mean, because you can joke about just about anything in the locker room, right? But as soon as you leave the locker room, it's like, all right, what's real and what's not real, right? Just the fucking constant, constant damage that could be that obviously isn't technically happening all on every play, but like it's one of those things where, but like. Are you just eliminating? You don't. You don't even have those thoughts as you're playing the game. But like, it's one of those things where it's it's really the only one of the only games, if not the only game that I feel like every play, every play, there's just a chance where you're it's like rocked. you can get your fuck. You can just get demolished. Yeah. Like, yeah. get For absolutely sure. demolished. There's only there's only one time where I'm just like, all right, fuck it, and that's if the ball's sky high in the air going over the middle, and I'm mm-hmm. just like, all right, my team, I'm going. Excuse me, my team needs this. Mm-hmm. You know, the QB's putting it up there for me to make a play. And that's the only time I just go up and just say fuck it. And that's what it takes. Out of, out of every, out of all the other situations, like if I'm just gonna put my head down and try and run through a guy, like all the other like small, tiny decisions, I might go ahead and just right. try and make a move to get right. around him instead of trying to go through him anymore. Because once you have one, you realize, all right, I can't. Yeah. If I get a concussion, I'm not in. I'm not. I mean, back you're hurting your team more that two yards that you might get or whatever yeah. versus the longevity that you can offer if you're making the right decisions. Play exactly. Play. Exactly. Yeah. Willie Lanier, Hall of Famer, uh, Kansas City guy, taught me that. He told he was like, listen. I just realized I got to put myself in a smarter position. I can't just keep just throwing myself in the opportunity right. of getting concussed. Right. I was just like, damn. You what know? do you have, one? I had two in one season, and then I switched helmets, and I haven't had one. Really? Yeah. So we're rolling. Just more pads, more more internal just padding? Just a different technology. Mm-hmm. Different technology. It's like the ones I was wearing were like made in like the 90s. Okay. And then... It's just the time helmet I had. Yeah, this is just the helmet that I had used all the way through my life. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, ah, no, I'm good. Yeah, time, then, time to put that baby to rest. Yeah. yeah. 